Ascension Presents is here in Washington, D.C. for the March for Life. We're here to find out where everybody is from and what they're doing at home to promote the pro-life movement. We're from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Long Island. Baltimore. Sterling, Virginia. South Bend, Indiana. Tallahassee. From Atlanta, Georgia. Thomas More College from Northern Kentucky. Awesome. And why'd you come down to the march today? Well, when I was conceived, my dad wanted my mom to get an abortion and she stood up against it and said no, so that's why I'm here. I mean, just hearing her story and everything, like imagining my life without her would be, I don't know, unthinkable, but and just defending the defenseless is just something that's very important to me. Life starts from the very beginning, from conception, and if you can't defend life at its earliest state, at its most precious state, defenseless state, then you can't defend life at all. You're not um, supporting life at all. There are all these women who believe that abortion is their only choice when there are so many other options that could help prevent that loss of life. When I was 18 years old, I was in high school and um, I was pregnant three months and I, did, I wasn't going to have the baby and my mom wanted to support me so she went with me to the, to the abortion clinic on Roosevelt in Queens and um, I was waiting there and while I was waiting there I saw the women there with their robes, their pink robes and um, it was they were very sad so at, at that time I just got depressed in the moment and I just started thinking and I guess I started praying asking for signs and in my mind just came to me um, I think it was God you know it was like go look at your sonogram and when I saw the picture it was a picture of a baby at three months and she had legs she had a big head <laughs> and the arms and um, the in instant I asked the lady, I said, did you know that it was a baby? I, at first I was like, it's a baby, you know, and because um, many people told me that it was a glob of tissue and I was already three months and, and I was only 18 and it's not fair, you know, but here's my daughter, she's 10 and God's been with me. I have her in Immaculate Conception School and uh, when she was three, I met Christ and that's when God revealed to me that he has saved my, ch my child through the, through the um, intercession of Blessed Mother Mary through the prayers of people and the pro-life movement. Part of it really comes down to uh, being Catholic and, and Christian, and that's that, you know, you know, the very, you know, the very start of the Gospels deals with the Annunciation, or if it's John's chapter, it's the Word Made Flesh, chapter one, and really it all comes down to life. If you don't have life, you have nothing else. We just really believe that um, Jesus calls us to have a generation of life where we respect life in all its forms from um, natural birth to natural death. Fantastic. And is there anything you guys do at home to promote the pro-life movement? Yes, we actually just started a pro-life club. Um, so we've done, you know, various work with charities and we started, we had a baby shower for an expecting student and she's due this semester, she actually due next month. One of the main things that we love to get involved in is uh, spearheaded by the Sisters of Life, a prayer vigil outside Planned Parenthood in, uh, in New York City. Well, we have a group called Keep Infants with Down Syndrome, or KIDS. We meet every year at National Right to Life office before um, coming to the march. We do that to support the unborn babies with Down Syndrome in the, you know, in the womb. And, you know, as you know, there's a high abortion rate of them. So it's very important for us to, you know, kind of just raise that awareness and, and support them. We think everybody deserves life, and we think it's a great cause. Because I think we can really make a change in our generation. Just the march itself is like the American pilgrimage. It's about the beauty and the goodness of human life, about the lives of everyone around, all the lives of everyone in the world, the, my life, your life, your life. After I went on the march, I realized that you really do so much good. Even if nobody notices it, being in prayer with everyone else, being communion, and really standing up, you do more good than you can ever imagine. And you just have to be there to experience it.